What's poppin' y'all? So we are about to get into this requested video. This one is Michael Jackson unauthorized interview 1983 color correction. I guess somebody edited the video to make the cover look right. I don't know. But without further ado, y'all, we are just gonna hop straight into this video. So let's go. What is Alama's name? Is he a part of your family? His name is Louis. Or he's just a character? No, he's sweet. His name is Louie. I like animals. I think they're um, one of God's most incredible creations. Seems like a nice animal. They are. They're very affectionate. And uh, they eat. He eats alfalfa. Oh, God. He looks so cute. He's really sweet. Louie is originally from the circus. And uh, he used to give kids rides. 60 pounds or under. So I understand you're very uh, good at making him perform. Have you? Me? No? Well, no, I don't become perform. He performed in the circus. I see, I don't know any tricks. He said, uh-uh, don't do that. But he's really sweet. Originally, they're from South America, in the mountains, Peru. I understand he also has a buddy that's with him. Yeah, Mr. Tibbs. Mr. Tibbs. They're very close. But I think he's one of my favorite animals. I like their eyes. He's full grown. I used to have another llama. He, uh... He was a boy llama, he was snow white. And uh, unfortunately, my dogs attacked him. It was very sad, but he was so beautiful. This, uh, her name was Lola. This man got a whole now I have Louis. llama. And Louie's really sweet. Right, Louie? Say hi. Say hi to all those magic people. Hi, Louie. Oh, Louis you can is tell. He seems a little oh my you God! I love this family. Michael they right look here. A lot like camels and alpacas. He's so cute. The same family. They're really sweet animals. I see he's been with you in quite a few pictures in cameras and magazines and so forth. Yes, he's, yes. I, I think the fans and the kids <laughs> know him from the pictures and things. It's funny because most people think he kicks and he's going to hurt him, but he doesn't. It's really sweet, right, Davy? Say cheese. Smile for the camera, Louie. Anyway, I'm gonna walk him a little bit. <laughs> Next time, like I'll be down the driveway. I can deal with that. Why oh, he looks sad? <clears throat> it's nice to see you. Just relaxing. Uh, I guess I deal with my sorry, schedule. He he you he get used to it. When you go day to day with the re the routine. Um, I get presented a schedule every morning, and I fulfill it. I found out this morning that I was going to be doing this, and uh, you know, get out of her ear, and. Um, <laughs> I guess it's something you just get used to doing. It's part of your work. You're fulfilling uh, your job as an entertainer or whatever. It's fun to be at home sometimes and just relax like this. Uh, I think it's very important because as a performer, <laughs> You can perform, but if you don't have anything to, to play back off of. I'm trying so hard not to be thirsty. Um, your performance isn't as uh, dynamic. Oh, uh, I Lord think the fans Jesus. give you the energy. Uh, you play off of them, really. Can you hear me? No. I'm just, I'm just looking at you right now. I'm not hear nothing that you're saying. You can put those on. Gosh, it's, that's hard to explain. It's um, it's something that I guess you're just born with. <laughs> you feel the music. It's like How a painter, I guess. You, just, you approach the canvas with the paint and the brush, and you're inspired by things around you, I guess, and what's inside of you. And you do it, and 
and I like creating magic. <coughs> well, you sure do. Okay, I'm so inappropriate. <laughs> Watch me now. Watch me now. I can do when I explain magic, I mean wonderment, um, excitement, um, the unexpected, escapism, creating something that's so incredible, an illusion, uh, to put people in a situation, no matter what it may be, and give them totally the opposite of the unexpected, so much more than what they thought would happen. I mean, just blow their mind. That's, I like creating magic, excellence. I, I love doing that. Ah, nothing like it. <laughs> I try to do it in everything I do, really. What do you think you should be doing about water fountain? I do you some can't songs hear like it. I've always said that I don't write my own songs because I feel I'm just a source, I'm just a tunnel, a tube through which they come. I feel somewhere in space they've all been written before. I mean, Billie Jean and Beat It and all those songs have been up there somewhere. It just came through to me. That's how I really feel. So I, I even though I did it, I just can't always take credit. It's like any great artist, I guess, Leonardo da Vinci. I mean, I doing it, but it's some other higher force that's making it happen. <laughs> it's a wonderful day. <laughs> you can tell it's a lot on his mind. Like I'm kind of picking up on this like energy that's like yes. Yes. Know. How did you know that? <laughs> That's very true. I um, I think kids are very special. They're, I think they're the greatest inspiration for me. Kids and animals and God, stuff like that. Um, I can't even explain them. They're so magic. When I'm around them, I feel more alive, I think, than anything. Um, I feel like I can do anything. They're, um, God, they charge me. They give me energy. They really do. I said that very before. Um, I said that. From, uh, I was right. Has been the inspiration of kids. I really do. I literally said that in one of our reactions. I don't think I've ever done an interview outside with the trees and bushes watching me. <laughs> Pardon? Oh, he's so polite. And handsome. Well, uh, the reason why I like the house I live in, I the whole theme of it, I want it to be mainly for kids. Um, because when they come here, I like to be inspired by their reaction, <clears throat> by seeing them have fun, by their joy. That's why I like to go to Disneyland a lot. I like seeing um, them have fun. I go there to get my daily dose of inspiration, really, if I can. And uh, when I come back, I'm ready. I'm ready to take on everything. It's really great. It's, uh, it's magic. Their eyes, their face, their expression, their characters. Magic. See, we're doing a new album right now. It's the Jackson's album. And I'm writing several songs on it. The latest one I'm writing is called Buffalo Bill. It's about Will Cody, the cowboy, and how he died. And um, I'm, I'm really excited about it because I really, I, I, I hate to say I know it's going to be a hit, but <laughs> I really strong, I feel strong about it. Then I'm writing a song um, about uh, Liberian girl, about a Liberian girl, and uh, I'm excited about that. 
I'm excited about all my projects. <laughs> and I'm just living day to day, dreaming and wishing upon stars and all that magic stuff. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. A lot of things going on at the same time. Are we making magic here? <laughs> Let's go in the back. Let's go in the back where the Tivoli lights are. Oh, man. Why don't you guys tell me you were shooting? I'll be right down. One sec, okay? Hold on! My God. It's dusk. The moon is out. Most beautiful part of the day. I can see some of the stars coming out. Very beautiful. Everything comes to life. The fireflies are in the trees and Everything's it's becoming it. magic. It's, <laughs> it is, I, I would say it is my favorite part of the day, dawn and dusk. There's a certain magic about it. Um, it does seem like everything uh, that prey up on the night starts to, you know, come out, be it the creatures, be it the, the birds that return to their nests. I like dawn also. Some psychologists say that, that dusk, for, for a lot of creative people, you, you reach your alpha state subconsciously, you become more creative in certain parts of the so day. He is so spiritual. Me, it can be any time, you know. I am, um, I just like creating. It's no special time, but this is really magic to me because it's like, um, it's like a painting. It's very artistic. It's magic. It's so wonderful. Just the sound of water is magic. It's really beautiful. So here we go. I could kick it with Michael Jackson. His vibe is just so I love it. Okay, Michael, you got to a little. You know what I'm saying? We can smoke. <laughs> I told you I could kick it with him. What happened to the sound? Uh, I don't know if that's me or if the video went out, but I don't hear any sound. But I guess I'll just I'll just break this into two parts. I don't know if that's my sound or the video. Okay, it's the video. So I'm just gonna break this into two parts, and then we're gonna get into part two of this interview, guys. Hopefully, you are enjoying my reaction. I'm crazy so just ignore me <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction if you did please leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next reaction video